Until you've got the strength back in that wrist, I'd take it easy. OK? Yeah. Thanks, Doctor. Next. No one. It is quiet until classes start properly next week. Oh, well. A sky that is. Actually, a quiet day is just fine by me. These shoes are killing me. Remind me never to let Daniel buy shoes for me again. Every time he has something nice, he expects a Scooby snack. And if these are a size five, I'm Eric Pickles. Well, just take them back. Oh, Daniel's coming round at lunchtime, and we are both taking them back. If a patient shows up, send them through. I do apologise, Miss Marden, but my last patient overran. This patient is a medical assessment for the DWP double appointment, so if you're still there, we'll be a while. But hey, you stay right there. You keep an eye on my timekeeping. Hi. Listen, I know it's short notice, but can you make lunch? Great. I'll book us a table, but that's only if I've got time before my next patient, because I want to upset the management. I need to see a doctor. Are you registered with us? Are you a student? <laughs> well, let's get you registered then. I'm in a lot of pain. I need to see a doctor fast. Get him registered after I've treated him. But I am going out for my lunch now. I'll register him then. Come through. Remember to get his current GP details. The Department of Work and Pensions have requested a further medical assessment from your GP. So I'll send my report and then they'll make a decision about your ESA payments, OK? Yeah. Good. Now, it says you've been with us for nine years and the last doctor you saw was Dr Wilson. My information about your case is sketchy, seeing as we hardly ever see you, which is a good thing, usually. I, I don't go out much. I, hardly ever, really. I, I haven't been out of my house in weeks. OK. Shall we begin? Yeah. You're in pain. Yeah. Let's take a look. I think I'm supposed to leave it in for a doctor to take out. Um, yeah, leaving it in was right. How did this happen? I fell on it. At that angle? You're right about leaving it in. But you need to get to a &E. I just want you to take it out and give me something for the pain. I, I mean, it, it doesn't look like it's anything important. Removing it could cause a bleed. A&E can deal with that. I can't. Yeah, but who wants to wait for hours to get seen? <laughs> Believe me, you won't be made to wait. The best thing I can do for you is call you an ambulance. Are they here? No, they're heading towards the campus. I don't want to go to hospital, I told you. Right. If you're not prepared to take my professional advice, then I suggest you leave. I just want you to do something about this. And then I want to chill you for a little while and then I'll be gone. People will be here any minute. That woman said she was out of here. It's lunchtime. Campus is dead. There won't be anyone here for a while. Can you cook your own food unaided? Yes. Can you wash or bathe unaided? Yes, of course. Can you dress or undress unaided? Yes, I, 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 I don't need someone's help just to get through the day. I never did. The problem, the reason that I get these payments is, is because of my husband, my ex-husband. I'm sorry, this is just difficult to, to talk about to someone I don't know. Shoshana, I appreciate that these questions can be frustrating, but they are necessary if I'm to form an opinion about your ability to return to work. OK. I notice you've got some scars there. Do you mind if I take a look? I, I thought it was about my mental health. It is, but if there's some physical damage, then it's always a good idea to have a look at that too.
please, just chill out and then I'll be gone. Nobody gets hurt. This really isn't a clever thing to do. Holding me hostage, you're making things worse for yourself. Look, I'm not keeping you here against... I'm not. I don't have a knife or anything. So if I try to leave, you'll stop me, won't you? What do you call this other than holding me here against my will? Happy hour? And as for your wound, I can't do anything for you through your T-shirts. You're just going to have to go to a <coughs> I told you not to! Take a look. And now you're armed. Has it made things worse? I can't <coughs> tell if there's an internal bleed, which is entirely possible. It hurts like... Can't you put a bandage on it or something? If you don't mind me asking, how did you get these? <laughs> you know you deserve this, don't you? You know what this is for, don't you? My husband, ten years ago. They've healed now. And how are you getting on with the antidepressants? They help. I gave up smoking. I felt better after that. I eat better, too. I try to look after myself. Well, I wish all my patients looked after themselves the way you seem to. Uh -huh. Okay, shall we? This is going to hurt a little bit. Uh, uh. <laughs> I take it this and those are connected. What did you do? Maybe they know you're hurt. And the ambulance is for you. It isn't for me. I was in a fight with a bloke. I thought he grabbed a knife. He was armed. He was queuing in the dining hall. He grabbed it. Ah! Can you do something about the pain? Yeah. You might try to drug me. Yes, of course I'm trying to drug you. How else do you think the pain's going to stop? If I give it a dirty look, take them, don't take them. It's your choice. Is that us? Just about. Good news. I think you're in good shape, so I'll mark in my report that you can probably start back at work. What? In my opinion, you're fit to work. But I'm not. I, I stay indoors all the time. I can't face going out. I, I told you I haven't left my house for weeks. You made it here. Well, I had to. They'd have cut my payments if I didn't. Well, I'm sorry, but I can only go from what you tell me, and from that, I don't think you qualify anymore. Can we start again? You can change your assessment. And what would starting again achieve? You give me a different set of answers. I didn't think you'd take my payments away. You're panicking too soon. Moving forward, I submit my report, and I assume if they're asking me to do that, the ATOS report is inconclusive. But they might just stick with the original report. But it's obvious I'm in a mess. Well, not to me it isn't. You seem to be in good shape, physically and mentally. There's been a lot of progress. Please. Please change it. I'm sorry, I, I know this takes a bit of getting used to, but this could be the best thing that ever happened to you. Anyway, you have the right to appeal. I am sorry, but I can only go from what you say. And they might follow the original report anyway. How long till these painkillers kick in? Look, I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh, well, that's OK, then. You're the best. I told you. You behave, you don't get hurt. Where do you see this ending? What do you mean? Lunchtime's going to finish soon. The receptionist will be back. Yes, it's quiet, but it's not dead. 
We don't just treat students. This is a drop-in centre. And you need to go to hospital. Because that's going to bleed out. And when it does, you will lose consciousness. You would say that. It's in your interest to end this now. There's no upside to letting it drag on. So, what's this all about? You're not a student here. Did the university not let you in? No. You used to work here and you got sacked? No. My girl, she's a student here. We've been together since we were 14. She's dumped you. And you've come to get her back. You know, it's highly likely that she doesn't. People move on. It's not like that. Kelly and me, I'm not smart like her, but we're good together. All the family thought I was never good enough for her, like, like you needed to greet a lover. If I had a daughter, I'd insist on at least a first or a good master's. What? I love her. I always have. When she leaves here, she wants to move to London. I was going with her and I... I hate London. Is it her that's in hospital? No, I'd never hurt her. So you've attacked her new man, haven't you? She binned me with a text. I deserve more than that, Donna. That is cold. I'd say you were well read. Hurts more than this. So. Where do you see this ending? Because, take it from a woman, you lost any faint chance you had of getting her back the second you attacked the new man. Is there a plan? Hey. You, uh, you got it quick? Uh, I wasn't far. <laughs> Hi. Hey. <laughs> Did you run here? No, I drove. I, 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 the traffic sort of parked and then uh, ran the rest of the way. Dad, running used to be my thing. Well, I uh, started obsessing over other things. Oh, don't obsess about obsessions. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I'd never let myself stand on the pavement. Now I can force myself to do it, and every time I do, it's like a mini victory for Team Me. Mm -hmm. My ex, she never really got me. She never got any of this. She was more like an enabler. Stop. Stop talking about her. And stop with the cutlery. Oh. Now you. This is your crack in the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> now you can arrange it again. Yes. And enjoy it. Embrace it. Or you can leave it. Either way, it's a little victory for you. You're in control, not the OCD. Can I have a menu, please? <sighs> I do have to answer that or they're going to be wondering where I am. Speaker form. Valerie, hi. Oh, hi, Zara. I've just heard there's some trouble over at the uni. I'm just phoning to check you're OK. Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Great. Nobody knows what's going on. I just hope no one's hurt. Well, let me know if you hear anything, OK? Bye. Uh, Valerie, wait. Uh, have you seen Howard at all today? No. Should I have? Well, we did a staff assessment about you last week, and I was very complimentary about your work. Oh, thank you. Howard was keen to offer you a contract extension, and I recommended you for a promotion. Oh. 
and a pay rise. You are so lovely. So speak to Howard, OK? I will do. Look, I've got to go. Oh, also, Daniel said apparently he's on a half day, so he's going to collect Joe and then come get you. Yeah. Fine. Bye. You look a bit peaky. Are you OK? I, yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, you take as long as you need. Do you want to tell me about it? Uh... You know, if you're going to have a funny turn, this is the place to do it. <laughs> Loads of doctors and nurses. Actually, I think Dr Tyler's still free. I could always ask him... Oh, no, no, thanks. I, I, I just need a minute. <laughs> oh, got to get that. <laughs> I think I should text my partner, tell him I'm busy not to come. You're texting no one. You don't want him coming here with our son any more than I do. Shut up. You've got about an hour max before people realise that you're here. Kel? It's me, Paul. You right? L look, I'm down here at the uni this morning. I'm at the uni doctor's. Uh, yeah, she's letting me use her phone. Uh, Dr. Carmichael, I had an accident. I need to see you. Please? Yeah. Yeah, I'll explain. I'll see you then. She doesn't know what happened to him. If you think I'm going to sit by while you hurt an innocent young woman, you're off your head. I just want to talk to her. I'm not going to hurt her. What, like you didn't mean to hurt the man that you stabbed? You've got this ridiculous fantasy in your head that she's going to come here, you're going to convince her that she's wrong, and she's going to fall into your arms again. No. You do. What else do you think is going to happen? It's either that or revenge. What happens if this ridiculous fantasy doesn't play out and she doesn't see the error of her ways? You two got together when you were kids. You grew up together. You grew apart. It's not nice, but it happens. What she needs from you now, you can't give her. Shut up. And what you need from her, she can't give you. Her dumping you by text, yes, it sucks, but it is time for you to man up. Shut up! It's always going to fizzle out. It's over! Enough! She'll be here soon. I need more painkillers. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello, Karen. Hi. How are you? I'm... I'm fine, thanks. Good. OK. Hello. I hate when that happens. When someone clearly knows you and you cannot place them for the life of you. <laughs> Nightmare. She's here. If you want me to let her in, I have to go to reception. I'm going to need my shoes. Ah! Oh! Are you Kelly? Yeah. Have you got your phone? Where's Paul? Call the police. He's inside. The police? You can't go in there. He's dangerous. You haven't come here for me. We can sort this out. Oh, Paul. I know I shouldn't have texted you. I know I should have come home and told you to your face. But I didn't know what to say. It's over. There's nothing to sort out. No. No, you couldn't say it to my face because you still love me. What? Oh, Paul. No. It's not that I don't care for you. I don't love you anymore. 
I don't know how I can be any clearer. Keep away from him. He wouldn't hurt anyone. Oh, yeah? He's put your new bloke in hospital. I, I didn't mean to. He went for me with a fork. I was just defending myself. Here's what's happening. The police are going to come, and you are going to give yourself up. Kel, you know I wouldn't hurt anyone. If you came here not intending to attack him, the only way to make the police believe you is if you give yourself up. It's over, Paul. Turn yourself in and get help. Please. What hospital is he in? St Phil's, I imagine. Why don't we date each other? Come on, I'm giving him back to my impulses. Wow. That's a surprise. Oh, really? <laughs> Two nut jobs coming over on Love's Young Dream. <laughs> Imagine the children. I'm serious. Like, you understand that you get this. So would any good therapist. You're hardly going to jump into the sack with them. Yeah, but you're hot. People like you and me, we're different. Not from each other, but from everybody else. Why should we keep Julie apologising for not being like them, like we're broken? Why should that limit our lives? Don't. <laughs> OK, when's the first date? My place, Friday. You're on. <sighs> How is he? Good, thanks. He's in theatre. I'm sorry. If I were you, I'd keep my hands well above my head. He's injured. You're gonna have to take him to hospital or call in the police surgeon. What's happening? You all right? Everything's fine. I'm gonna have to give them a quick statement, but then I am calling Howard and I have to take the rest of the afternoon off. Okay, okay. All right. I still want to take those shoes back. I don't think the shop will take them back now. You think? Come here. Howard, I'm on my break now. Anything you want to talk to me about? No. Um, anything about my contract? Hmm, not change there. Valerie from the Mill Health Centre. Is everything OK? You look great. Must be, what, ten years? Impersonating a doctor is a very serious offence, Valerie Pittman. I'm calling you on my personal mobile. If you're worried about anything at all, you just call me any time. OK. Audrey? Are you at home? 
Ethan, are you free? I need a hand.